Coming up this week on The Archer's Choice. giant food plot and it is wild every hunter's dream this is the archer's choice this week on the archer's choice well guess what, what? it's a two-part series because we have swd Severe whitetail disorders. You're right. So this week's part one, next week's part two. Because we wouldn't play part two first and then part one. No. 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 So this week we're going to be going North Dakota, Kansas, and some Illinois hunts too for whitetails. And the lucky and logo this week. Yes, the lucky logo this week is cam. Stealth Cam. So you need to look for the Stealth Cam logo. It says Stealth Red Dot Cam logo. That's what you're looking for. Cool. Our Got first it. hunt, because we have SWD so bad, and you all know what we're talking about, is we're heading to North Dakota with Michelle Helen, one of our posse members. That's right. And Art's filming her. Yeah. And she is she is covered up with SWD. Well, cool. So Art's behind the camera like he belongs. Yes. Good. Oh. Okay, let's go see how Michelle does. <laughs> well, tonight it's about 65 degrees. There's supposed to be a storm front coming in tonight or tomorrow, so we're hoping the animals are going to be moving. like he's in full velvet. It's been a long time since I shot a deer. So we're probably just gonna wait a couple more minutes and then we'll go get Eldon and, and go get him. Shot this nice buck last night. We're not sure if it got too dark on us, so we thought we'd bring him out here to the river at Eldon's place and get a better look at him. Real nice deer, nine point, full velvet. I'm happy with him. Took a few years coming out here, but finally got him and uh, had a, had a real good time and looking forward to the rest of the week. I'd like to thank Eldon Chrisman for having us out here and Archer's Choice Media for sending us. It's always fun coming out here to North Dakota. Hey, congratulations, yeah, Michelle. Michelle. You good. go, girl. All right, good. Making it, we got to no, make I, these I, women look good. You know, we're yeah, always Michelle's behind the camera the one, Michelle's, the one that, oh. Michelle's the one that got the deer. That's all that matters. You don't want to go anywhere because when we oh come back, gosh. Chris Probst, one of our posse what members, are going to be hunting in Kansas out of a choice ground blind with his bow way TC this hunt. Don't go anywhere. Uh, Scotty's make them look good. Mm -hmm. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Now we're going to head to Kansas with Chris and Jeff Propes. What are you doing now? Okay. 
Okay, so anyways, we're gonna head to Kansas. They're hunting on the choice ground blind. Father and son team, let's see how they do. Give me this, you're scaring me. Kansas, here we come. Just rolling through Kansas, just pulled in. Driving down I-70 right now. Trying to get to the deer woods as fast as we can. I'll tell you what, this we're really looking forward to this hunt. We, uh, we, haven't, we haven't hunted together since Alberta when I killed my big mule deer. But uh, it's been a long time. <laughs> I've only hunted like three or four days this whole deer season. So we finally get to hunt together again and hopefully whack a couple big bugs. Chris, what happened? Can you say miss? Pretty Kansas whitetail. He's got a neat rack on him. He's got frost on him all over it. He's got, let's see, he's a typical 10. And then he's got uh, a little kicker there. Tempo on a pretty buck. And it was extremely cold this morning. It was 12 degrees when we got out of the truck. Been freezing all morning and shaking. And uh, this old boy came in and gave me a good shot. I don't know what happened on the first shot. I guess he was just a little bit farther. He came back up and the second one hit him good. He didn't go, but probably 30 yards after the second shot. Time for this week's Bow Hunting World Magazine Tip of the Week. This week's Bow Hunting World Magazine Tip of the Week is, have you ever wanted to use a moving target? We've got a moto shot that we're setting up. Zendel and Joe are in Alberta hunting bears, so we need a battery and Zendel's car is right here. <laughs> you know, maybe this week's Tip of the Week should be, don't leave your vehicle parked in the Archer's Choice parking lot. Moto shot. You know, if you've ever had an animal and it's slowly walking, we're not saying that a high pass run or an unethical shot, but to have and to be able to practice on a moving target, this is the ticket. And you want to talk about fun for clubs, for you're just a bunch of the, the group of hunters. And you're like in a pressured situation. Come on, come on, shut up, Ralph, and shoot. That is your Bow Hunting World tip of the week. This thing is a blast. Can you believe it, Chris gets two shots, two opportunities at that buck in the wild? That's I think that choice blind had something to do with it. Think so? Mm -hmm. It might have. Now you don't want to go anywhere because when we come back, Scott Wolf, right here from Illinois, fire, fire diver. diver from our forum, 
he's going to get an opportunity at a buck that you're not going to want to miss, so don't go anywhere. Great deer, Scott. Great. Hey, shh, shh, shh. they got to come back to see it. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Leave it go. Welcome back. You know, when you got SWD, one of the best states to, to, to really cure that is our home state, Illinois. Huh, really? Vic? Yeah. And Scott proves it once again. That's right. Fire diver, let's go. And did you know that Scott and his cameraman, Brian, they actually met each other on our forum? No, they met? Yeah. Do you feel like a totem pole? Wow, this is like eHarmony, Archer's, Cho Archer's Choice style or what? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Back, back. This deer won't leave us alone. October 27th, Northwestern Illinois. I just shot my first ever buck captured on video. And it's by far my best buck. Got my buddy Brian from the Archer's Choice Forum here to share it with me. Couldn't think of anybody else I'd rather have in the woods with me tonight. Ralph, Vicki, everyone at Archer's Choice, I want to thank you for an awesome opportunity. I'm living a hunter's dream. Every hunter's dream. Wow, Scott, congratulations. Congratulations, and the footage they got was awesome. That was pretty cool. It was, it was a little strange, but it was awesome. Now you're hmm, not gonna wanna go don't anywhere. Go there. You don't wanna go anywhere because when we come back, it's your turn in Illinois, and that's all we're gonna say. You have to come back to see what happens. Welcome back. You know, Welcome back. Welcome back. Oh my gosh. You know, it's windy for out. years, well, this is the first time ever in our mm -hmm. home state we decided to go with an outfitter. That's right, Eagle Lake. We did a lot of research, and Ted down at Eagle Lake Outfitters, mm -hmm. and I gotta tell you, we probably should have been doing this a long time ago. Probably, but don't say anymore. No, I won't. Let's just get into your footage. Hmm. Okay? Hmm. Hmm. Well, you could see, it's November 2nd. It is 64 degrees. We're down here with Eagle Lake Outfitters, and I'm gonna tell you, we are on a giant food plot and it is wild. We came in, there was a doe and yearling out over there, more in that northwestern corner, but they took off. They're not afraid of the vehicle, but they just go back. They'll come out shortly. 
we got a good setup here. I like it. We got the wind coming across here. He said the majority of the deer are coming out from the west and from the north. We got standing corn to our right. I mean, this is, if you want a pristine spot, I think we found one. Watch the toes. Uh. We did it to him again. You did it again. Suspense. Suspense. Ouch! Yes, just like on the Moose Show. You have to yep. come back next week to find out how Ralph actually does down in Eagle Lake. Do you have SWD? We all do, don't we? It's funny. Well, we want to thank our posse for going out there and filming and getting all that great footage for us. And we better hurry because the wind is picking up and we're in this whole barn and things might start tumbling down. Again, every time we come here, it's windy. Anyways, if you saw the Stealth Cam logo, you're going to log on to archerschoice.com. Click on the lucky logo button or panel banner, right. whatever you want to call it. Fill out the information, hit send, and then someone's going to win a nice package from Stealth Camp. From Stealth Camp. Yes. So once again. Yes, once again. Yes. See, this, his train of thought left the station. We'll see you next week. Same time. Same channel. Right here. On, on the, the Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice.